friends, right here behind me is the, the place where the Broken Saloon was. You probably heard the Sammy Kershaw song where he talks about that. And that's where it's at, right there. When I first moved to town, which was 17 years ago, in 1999 and 2000, this place was still open. They had a lot of bands in this part. And then there was a part in between with a bar. And then in the back, they had writer's nights. They had writer's rounds. And I would go play writer's rounds in there. And there were some big-time writers that would play in there. And they had great food. Uh, my favorite was the uh, Turkey Club. Loved the club in there. We would go in there and take my whole family. And it was a very nice place to go and take the family and watch the riders, listen to them, and that kind of stuff. And then it changed hands. And it didn't last long after that. They changed the club. It was actually a hot sandwich at that point. <coughs> Excuse me. And they changed enough stuff that it went out of business. And it's been a long time. At one time, this was a uh, Best Western. You can see now it's a Motel 6. And that is I-65 right out there. This building right here on the right, friends, is Oprah Winfrey's father's barbershop. Right there. We're going to take another quick look at it. But that is it right there, friends. That little barbershop right there on the right. You see it says Vernon Winfrey. It says Winfrey's barbershop. Right there. There she is, friends. And they're actually in there. Barbering up right now. Win Winberry Place. Friends, I'm headed to the bridge. It is Tuesday night. And I was going to show you a couple of quick things. I know that that uh, my vlog today has been a bunch of quick stuff, but I, uh, I have to really get prepared for where I'm going tonight to get here on time and get my work done and everything. But coming up here on the right is a warehouse and in that warehouse they use that as a it's now like used office furniture I bought some tables from there but it was actually the set one of the sets of the movie Ernest Goes to Jail it's where they shot a lot of the uh, inside the jail scenes that warehouse right there you can see the top of it Ernest Goes to Jail shot right there friends this is off of uh, Ellington Parkway heading to town and I'm gonna exit here on the Spring Street which will take me right on to Jefferson Street which is where the bridge ministry is and you can see the Batman building downtown right there and this is not a great time of the day to be videoing because the Sun of course sun's going down it's gonna be beautiful but it gets right in my in my face and in the camera unfortunately There it is, friends. You see, that's the, the Jefferson Street Bridge directly in front of us. So we're going to head over to the bridge. friends and I'm supposed to be there at 5:30 and you can see it's 5:28 so we're going to be there shortly my son is going to be right on top of that bridge as we go over coming right over on me you see that well that's blinding right there this elderly lady but this is the Jefferson Street bridge that we're crossing over and we do the uh, bridge ministry under the bridge right here mm -hmm. 
And this is brand new, this apartment building. That used to just be a, that was a field right there, basically. They're putting a lot of uh, apartments and stuff like that, high dollar places in town. It's going to be really, and I say they're apartments, you actually buy them, uh, I believe. I believe you buy those. So you turn right at the bottom of the bridge, make another right, and there's Christy Cookies right here on this side. That's where they make Christy Cookies. You can see it right there. Truck moved. Well, they're constructing stuff back here like crazy. And that is the bridge ministry up under, and they actually are tearing this building down. Hmm. That's interesting. But that is where we do the bridge ministry up under right there, and you can see it's almost set up. Real close, I gotta go do my thing. This dude right here comes to the bridge. He always has something over his head. Not sure why. But there they are working, friends. And I'm going to get in here and hook up. This week is a book that are standing around the room. If you and your children have someone to shoot, you and sit with us and join your family. Tighten up.